of this kingdom I speak about, Jesus is that king. Because he is the king of kings. And he deserved the right and the respect to be this king of kings. Because he's the one only man ever that never made a mistake. And came to establish heaven's kingdom here on this earth. As a man. So few people are this, so many people are deceived concerning this. He did not come and walk this earth as a God or God. He left that title behind in heaven. And the, the, God, the one through whom everything was made became a man. The Bible says he humbled himself to such an extent. He humbled himself, becoming flesh and blood like us. And we know that flesh and blood is weak. That's why you people become sick. It's very, for, for heavenly experience, it's very humbling to become sick. Because it is a sign of sin. And people might fight this point. Even I become sick, I become sick because of sin. If no one ever has ever sinned, we will, would not become sick. It is our ancestor that has sinned. And disobeyed the Lord by listening to his wife. Or be led by his wife into sin. That all sin came through to every human being. Said your guidance to, we've all been born into sin. Why? Because of our ancestor Adam. But we don't blame him. Amen. Because the second Adam came. Give him a hand. Say a second Adam. His name is Jesus. The Bible doesn't call him a second Adam. I'm wrong. I ask your forgiveness. The Bible called him the last Adam. Meaning the final Adam. The Adam that will complete all. That will fulfill all. And after him, it means the last Adam. Meaning that no man ever have to bring any other way through whom people might be saved but by this last Adam. Satan goes to last. The, the one who adds to what he has done is cursed. Did you know that? Therefore, the one who proclaim any other gospel, for example, Paul himself said, if anyone come and preach another gospel than we have preached, even if an angel from heaven come and even us, and preach a different gospel than we have preached to you in the beginning, let him be accursed. And then he was speaking strongly about the people of the circumcision. Because those people said, you need to be circumcised to be saved. Now, Je now Jesus is the last Adam. So he was actually saying, anyone that I tried to add to what Jesus has done, he will be cursed. Now, is it so wrong to be circumcised? No. But if you get circumcised for any faith, salvation purposes, you'll be cursed. If you get circumcised because if it's, it's your custom, that's okay. But circumcision cannot save you. Jesus paid the price. Give him a hand. It cannot make of you a better person. It cannot make of you a more mature person. It cannot make you a man at all. Said to going through, that is worldly viewpoints, traditional viewpoints only. But pastor, you speak to me, I've been circumcised. Don't worry. The way you found the Lord remain like that. Don't try to put anything back. Give God a hand. Amen. The Bible says, as you come to the Lord, remain like that. If you have five wives before you got saved, now you come to Jesus, what now? Should you divorce them and keep only one? No. The Bible says, as you come to the Lord, remain like that. As a man is, as a man come to Jesus, let him remain like that. If he's married, let him get married. If he's not married, let him remain like that. But if he's burning with passion in his heart, let him marry. Amen. Amen.
in the name of Jesus. So you cannot undo circumcision, but um, don't get circumcised because of any religious faith or salvation purposes. That is blasphemy against Jesus Christ. But you do it because of custom, because that's a custom, it's okay. Not bad at all. For health reasons, it's also good. Give God a hand. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, but not faith. Not salvation purposes. Not faith purposes. Not at all. If you do that, the Bible says you will be without Christ. So that was the point in, the, in Galatians. So Paul said, um, if anyone come and preach to you another gospel, other than we have preached to you, even if an angel from heaven come, and even we ourselves, he, he put himself in the picture, even if we ourselves come and preach your gospel differently than we have preached to you from the beginning. And now he's preaching strongly against people because he was dealing with Jewish people who tried to deceive the non-Jewish people who came to Jesus who said, if you really want to be saved, you need to be circumcised like us. Then he said, those mutilators of the flesh who glory in the flesh. Did you ever read that in your life in Galatians? Satan you going through your learning. If you are circumcised, you cannot undo it. Don't worry, I mean. And if it's been done because of custom reasons, that's okay. But make very sure it is not because of religion or faith reason. Because then you'll be without Christ if you do it as a Christian. Say born again Christian. Because your only means of salvation is only one. Say the lost Adam. You cannot add to what he has done. Nothing. You can add nothing. Oh, pastor, to be properly saved, I'm going to fast 40 days. You'll be cursed. You cannot add to your salvation. Jesus has paid the price. It is finished. Give him a hand. 